to be a masterpiece and to be a work in progress at I the same time. I just the art of falling in love with each other. I realize that sometimes the only one I can put the pieces back together is yourself. With love, 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 every single episode from now on on youtube ad free <laughs> i know you guys love ad free <laughs> episodes so if you don't want to listen to any annoying ads and my annoying ad voice go to youtube where you can watch again every single episode from now on on video also before we get started i told you guys on my last episode that i want to start combining my clothing brand and integrating it a little bit more with the podcast because they have the same message they have the same meaning and I really love that project a lot and so I was thinking about like ways that I can combine my two babies and my two projects that I love together and so I decided to open a new section on the podcast next year in 2024 because we have very very few episodes left of the podcast this year so for 2024 this is going to be a section by the end of every episode that's going to be called a message from a stranger which is basically a message that you guys will have the opportunity to leave at the bottom of every single episode on Spotify there's going to be a box that says leave a message and that is basically a box where you can leave your best the best advice you've ever received or a message you would want a stranger to know or how you got over heartbreak or how you got over a breakup or a hard tough time in your life it is basically just a box where you can leave the best advice you've ever received to help another person which is basically a stranger because we're all strangers healing together which is the message behind my clothing brand if you guys don't have spotify and if you guys can't find that little box you can always dm me again it's going to be anonymous so i'm not going to be saying anyone's name just basically to help each other heal which i think is very very cool and my goal with this podcast is to help you guys heal so if all of us can do that together that for me is even more amazing with that being said welcome to another episode of i missed me today is an exciting episode because i'm going to talk about a situation that i went through that taught me a lot and i'm going to open up and be a little bit vulnerable with you guys today which is something that i want to start doing more next year i feel like I present myself as very tough and as very wise here on the podcast, but I genuinely have no clue what I'm doing in my personal real life. <laughs> my closest friends know this and you guys are my closest friends as well. So I want you guys to know that version of me and that part of me that still doesn't know what the fuck she's doing <laughs> that is still navigating her 20s that is still navigating toxic relationships, toxic friendships, toxic situations. Um and yes i do mean everything that i say and yes i do have a lot of knowledge and i do have a lot of understanding about spirituality about energy about relationships but sometimes it is very very hard to apply it on my real life and i feel like it would be easier for you guys to connect if you're able to see that side of me and that part of me that still needs healing and that i still work on every single day and that i am not embarrassed to show anymore because i feel like it makes me me i feel like having that side of me that is very very healed and wise and having that other side of me that is very unhealed and doesn't know what the fuck she's doing it makes me me and i am so happy and i am so proud of the person that i am and that i keep becoming and obviously my goal is to get over those traumas and get over those patterns and get over the cycles that i keep repeating that keep hurting me but i am experiencing it and i am enjoying the journey and i trust me i am trying to get through things as well and trust me i am still healing and there are things and there are relationships that i still keep working on healing and that i know will take me some time but i'm also not scared of the journey anymore which is what i'm going to talk about today because going through things for the first time is never easy and i wish there would be a guide on how to heal a broken heart and as much as i wish there would be a guide on how to heal a broken heart i think that it is very healthy and i think that it is very good that no one prepares us for heartbreak because of the person that we become after it if someone guided you through healing and if someone guided you through and told you how you have to heal or how exactly to heal you wouldn't learn anything the learning is in the journey and every single journey is different so i'm going to share a little bit of mine and if it resonates with you maybe this episode helps and if not then you're just gonna listen to the tea and a situation that i went through that i'm able to laugh at it now but in the moment it hurt a lot <laughs> back in august i moved by myself and i had been in this very toxic situationship relationship 
trip cycle for the past two years two years is crazy i know <laughs> i don't know how the fuck that even happened it shouldn't have <laughs> but then again we don't judge between us besties so <laughs> it taught me a lot and it's not a situation that i talk with pain now because i was able to get through it and even i am surprised that i was able to get through it because i got over it very very fast once i actually decided to let go but then i kind of have to sit with myself and be like how did i get over this so fast like how did i get over this relationship that was such a long and painful relationship so fast when shorter relationships in the past have had had me crying in bed for almost a year and I think I hacked the code on how to actually get over someone, which is what I'm going to share with you guys today. And it is what I keep doing with people that I keep encountering that maybe don't meet my expectations or the things that I'm looking for, or maybe we just don't align, or maybe we just don't resonate, or maybe we just don't click. And as painful as it is to let people go, I think that I have gotten very good at letting people go because I understand that the grass is greener on the other side from a certain perspective. So I end the situationship not in good terms <laughs> so this relationship ends and the first thing that i have to say is that i learned a lot and i am the person that i am today because of that relationship so i have so many things to be grateful for not towards the person but towards the lessons that i learned after going through that so i don't regret going through it i am grateful that it happened i am grateful that it hurt me as much as it did because it awakened some part of myself to be like okay i can never allow myself to fall back into this toxic as bare minimum type of relationship ever again and that is something that i have more than clear now after going through that and also again i think i hacked how to actually heal i break this relationship and it was honestly it had to be the worst month of my life not only that was going on in my life but so many changes and so many things were going on in my life and so many and i think it hurt so much because so much in my life was changing at the moment that i feel like the only constant that i have was that relationship so in my mind was like as long as i have that relationship everything else is going to be okay and when that relationship broke and when i had to like finally let that person go because it was hurting me and it was being unhurt literally unhealthy for me i had no other option but to let go and i completely crumbled like my life literally disorganized itself i was in a lot of pain in a lot in a lot in a lot of pain for a good two three weeks where i was crying all the time i had no motivation to do anything i just wanted to be in bed i was i, I just wanted to sleep i just wanted to cry until there got a day where i genuinely i was so tired i i got tired of my bullshit and i got tired of myself and i literally had to sit down with myself in my car which is where i reflect and i love talking with myself and i kind of went to this like abandoned parking lot and i was like what the fuck is going on like what the fuck is going on also, the people that I had around me really, really helped at the time. And my roommate would say things to me that resonated to me a lot. Like, he's not the best that you're going to find. You deserve better. Like, why are you crying for the bear as minimum type of guy? Like, what? Like this is not what you deserve. Like, if this is what you think you deserve, then you really have to work on yourself. And like, everything that she was saying is right. And everything that she was saying, I knew. But at the time, when you're involved in that type of situation, the only thing that you want is to keep that person be because you don't want to confront the pain that comes after letting go, which I understand and I know that but then again it is very much easier said than done and so again I got tired of my bullshit and I kind of sat with myself in the car and I was like what is going on like why am I crying so much for this like why am I I'm tired of crying I'm tired of being sad I just I really don't want to be sad anymore and so many good things are going on and I'm living the life that I've always wanted to live and because of one person that could literally not care less about whether I was alive or not is controlling my whole mood and my whole day and my whole basically life at that point what is going on like wake up and that was the last day that i cried over the situation and so this is how i did it i sat with myself in the car and i kind of just told myself this is the last day that you're gonna cry for this make it be worth it because <laughs> this is the last time that we're crying over the situation so let this cry be worth it i started besties sobbing like i've never in my life cried for anything before i think i left along in my car that day because i was literally crying like if it was a scary movie and someone had just murdered someone in front of me because the way that i cried that day i remember it and i literally scare myself but i cried with my whole entire 
body and I feel like that is the reason why I was able to let go of the situation so quickly which brings me to the main topic of today's episode the only way out is through I cried with my whole entire body that day and I feel like by crying with my whole entire body and by letting all of those emotions out through the whole entire body something happened energetically or spiritually or physically or I don't I don't even know what happened but something happened that day where the pain literally left my body and this is why I've always believed that it is necessary to feel to heal but that day I literally confirmed it that day was proof that the only way out is through and that the only way to heal is to feel I cried with my whole entire body and I was like I kept repeating to myself I'm done I'm done I'm done crying I'm done with you I'm done with this relationship like this is not someone that I see in my future this is not someone that deserves me this is not someone that I genuinely like truly want I am keeping them because of fear I'm done I'm done I'm done and I kept saying I'm done I'm done I'm done crying sobbing with my whole entire body I cried for like two hours and when I was done it was like 8 p.m already because I stayed in that parking lot until I was okay to drive because I was like far from my apartment I didn't want to drive while I was sobbing and so I went back to my apartment I was still crying I cried myself to sleep but I was like this is the last night that we're crying and I feel like that day in the car where I allowed myself to feel every single emotion that I had not allowed myself to feel ever is what got me through the situation because the next day something happened besties I feel like that is like one of the most spiritual awakening experiences that I've ever been through the next day I did not feel pain about the situation whatsoever and that was genuinely and it really was the last day that I cried over the situation I woke up extremely confused because I was already so used to waking up sad that I was just like oh another day and I kind of just like woke up in my bed and I was just like why haven't I thought about this person <laughs> like normally he's the first thing in my mind when I wake up and like why wasn't he today like why wasn't he Like, why was my first thought not him this morning? And I literally, like, I went through my whole morning. I woke up, I got dressed in the best mood ever. I really don't know how that happened because, again, I was used to feeling sad every single day. Before that, I woke up in the best mood. I made myself breakfast. Um, I, I walked to class. And then while I was walking to class, I was kind of just like, why am I not thinking about this person? Like, did it, did it actually work? Like, did I really, like, release all of him last night? And till this day, and now that I'm able to sit in front of a camera holding a microphone saying, it really does not hurt at all anymore to talk talk about it to think about him to talk about him like I can talk about him for hours with my best friend and there's no pain whatsoever there's gratitude and we laugh about it and we laugh about the things that I tolerated and about the things that I went through we laugh because there's genuinely like no pain and so that's why I feel like I genuinely hacked the way out of pain and that is through it now the only reason why i know that we hold on to pain for so long and why things hurt so much for the longest time because i also went through a breakup which i was sad about for months almost a year is because i was first in denial for a very long time but also the only reason why i was in denial for a very long time is because i knew that once i let go i was going to have to feel pain and i genuinely didn't want to so i preferred to hold on to the thoughts of what if or maybe there's hope or maybe in the future or I just didn't want to face sadness and pain at all but now I understand that the only way out of things and the only way to truly get over things is by letting yourself and allowing yourself to feel the pain in order for it to leave the most unhealthy and this is a very big lesson that I've learned also my mom studies and is very much into neuroscience and psychology and all of those things and sometimes when she's taking her classes I like join one of the most important lessons that I've learned is that the most unhealthy thing that we can do is not to stop eating or not to stop exercising or not to stop taking care of ourselves but to stop ourselves from feeling storing emotions is the most unhealthy thing that we can do to ourselves because when we store emotions those emotions turn into to actual physical illnesses which in the future will be even worse and we're gonna have to pay a even bigger price but then again coming back to feeling it is necessary in order to be healthy and at peace you cannot feel at peace while feeling pain and the only 
way out of pain and the only way to get rid of pain is by feeling it to the point that you just cannot feel it anymore because you felt it so much there's just no space for it anymore i know that feeling and confronting pain is scary mainly because our brain is wired for safety pain is obviously not safe for our brain so it will do everything in its power to avoid it and i feel like that is a very very beautiful thing and another way to hug pain and to welcome pain our brain avoids us to feel pain because it's scary and it's overwhelming and our brain doesn't want to feel scared or overwhelmed having that understanding now you can sit with yourself and be like i know that you're scared of feeling pain i know that you're scared of finally letting go because of the amount of pain that we're going to feel But the only way of getting over this and the only way of getting through this is by allowing ourselves to feel. And you can go through that same process that I went through of crying yourself to sleep every single night as much as you need to until you genuinely don't feel it anymore. But that doesn't mean that you can allow yourself to cry for months because life goes on with or without someone and we have to step up and we have to take our power back and we have to take them out of a pedestal and we have to kind of step up and show up for ourselves and be like there is so much more to life than a person and than a relationship but then again you do have to allow yourself to feel in order to heal and in order to actually be able to get over things make a promise with yourself and put a deadline to your pain and that's kind of how i did it and it really really worked for me i allowed myself to cry as much as i needed to but when i got tired of being sad every single day i was just kind of like this is the last time that we're genuinely crying for this because it's exhausting because i know i deserve better because i know that this is not the best that i'm going to find because i know that the person for me is going to fight for me and he's not fighting for me so he's not the person for me and because i know that the universe is perfect and its timing is perfect and whatever is meant to be in my life will be in my life so there is absolutely no point to keep holding on to someone and to keep holding on to pain if at the end of the day the universe will bring to me what is actually meant to be in my life it is so much easier and so much more peaceful to live in this surrender state and be like whatever is meant to happen will happen and i genuinely do not want to feel pain while while also wanting the universe to bring me the things that i know that i deserve because i'm not going to be able to see them and i'm not going to be able to receive them make that promise with yourself and start repeating to yourself these things i deserve better this is not the best i'm gonna find i deserve to be loved and i deserve to be appreciated and if i'm not then what's the point of this relationship and put a deadline to your pain cry as much as you need to cry and cry with your whole entire body genuinely feel the pain and the sadness all over your body in your legs in your arms in your chest in your head and genuinely release it and you can either meditate or you can journal or you can turn your phone phone on which is what i used to do and record your yourself talking and talking and talking if that helps for you for some it helps to journal for some it helps to write things down for me it really helps to talk literally the reason why i have a podcast and how it started but find what works for you to release your pain feel it and cry as much as you need to cry but also put a deadline to your pain again feel it with your whole entire body release it and fully let it go because if it's truly meant to be in your life it will come back and if it doesn't something better will come the universe is always in your favor and something that i've come to terms with in the past few months where i feel like i keep losing relationships and people and so many things are changing something that i like to repeat to myself is if it's not this it's something better so now every time something fails and now every time that a relationship doesn't work out or that maybe i have to move or that maybe I have to let go of a certain thing or of, or of a certain relationship, I just constantly repeat to myself, if it's not this, it's something better. And you can only attract better things because you're vibrating in that frequency of receiving better things. And so the universe will bring you bigger and better things because you attract what you are. And if you are vibrating in a frequency of, I want to attract better and I deserve better, then that's the only thing that you will receive. And that's it for today's episode, besties. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys with my whole entire heart. Again, don't forget that there's going to be a box that says, leave a message or something like that. I haven't really come up with what I'm <laughs> going to put in that box, but it is basically just 
a box for you guys to anonymously leave a message for a stranger that someone might need to hear and you might really change someone's life with your advice you never know again it's going to be down below or dm me or email me my email is all over my social media or dm me my dms are always open and i'm always reading you guys don't forget to follow i miss me on social media at i miss me podcast on instagram tiktok and youtube don't forget to follow me on social media at mafia Ansures on instagram tiktok and youtube and don't forget i have a clothing brand at no name project co on instagram on tiktok no name project co to get your hoodie or you can also find the hoodie going to imissedme.com which is the podcast's website where you can find everything everything by i missed me i love you guys and i will see you guys on next week's episode with love mafi to be a masterpiece and to be a work in progress at the same time i feel the art of falling in love with you i realize that sometimes the only one that can put the pieces back together is yourself with love mafi